Hey, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna make breakfast and a drink. But first, we need to make some simple syrup. So you take two cups of sugar and two cups of water, I love a water bottle, um, put it in a pot, and you just go ahead and uh, let them simmer for a minute. And while it's working, you play a little bit of Oregon Trail. And while you're playing the Oregon Trail, you keep stirring. And by the time that you have died of dysentery, your simple syrup should be done. Your simple syrup will hold in airtight containers in the fridge for up to a month. So, Fridge Connect 75. We have the Tangare, small bottle of Tangare. Get the get the good gin. Champagne. Wasn't bad. I do not own a drink shaker. I do, however, own a portable salad cup. Hey Google, how do you make a lemon twist? Here you go. Let me know when you want to start cooking. I did say lemon bars in it, Google. Uh, there are several ways to make a lemon twist. Um, it looked like the easiest was with this peeler, so that's what we're going to do. Let's see if we make it pretty. Twist it. Beautiful. So we need to take half an ounce of our simple syrup and then we need half an ounce of this lemon juice. What am I doing? Um, two ounces of gin, of our Tangare gin. Yeah, I, uh, I bought the small bottle because I'm I'm not internet famous yet, so we must buy the small bottle. Okay, so we need to do that. We take the, the gin, uh, lemon juice, syrup, cover it, shake it well for 30 seconds. Ooh. What the? am I supposed to do though? I don't want to I'm supposed to put the lid on it. I'm supposed to do stupid Jennifer. Okay, well that's not too bad. It's not great. Not great. I haven't even had anything to drink yet. That's the sad part. <laughs> And apparently, there's a tiny little cut right here on my finger that I did not know about until I started messing with some lemon juice. We're going to brush it off. We're not going to be salty. Chill glass. Do our best. We do our best with what we got. And it looks like we don't have enough room for two ounces of champagne. We're going to have to fix this. Now we top it off with the champagne. It looks pretty. Let's see if it tastes good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Helps uh, ease the sting of spilling expensive gin. But yeah, I like it. For the biscuits, uh, all purpose flour, cake flour, the granulated sugar, baking powder, and salt, and heavy cream. I don't know where to put it, but we need an egg.
pescar. Alguém vai pescar. Already owned it. Even though I've never made homemade biscuits. Good job. So knead your dough and then form it into a rectangle and then cut your biscuits out. So you need red pepper flakes and brown sugar and fresh cracked pepper and of course bacon. And take these two things, mix them together, lay this out on the pan that's been lined in foil and then you cover it with the mixture and then you bake it. Oh, that needs to be clean. Don't look at that. Oh, so much smoke from all the burnt sugar. Excuse me, you're in the shot. And we're supposed to brush this on top of all the biscuits. And yes, I know it's a barbecue brush. I know. It's the only brush I have. Am I proud? No. Do I need a new one? Yes. Mm, let's put our ugly ones over here. Not to be mean, but 18, BT, Varsity. JV. Fry bacon. So my eggs are about half cooked. If they're done in the pan, they're overdone on the plate. So now that they're that close, they're still a little bit runny. We're gonna take our cup of cheese. I didn't actually measure it out, but it looks like a bar cup. This seems to be a little bit greasy. My opinion should be a little bit more flour. Maybe I'll try a different sausage next time. Executive decision. Because I think I got sausage that was too greasy. I got about a quarter cup of flour. Added to about a half a cup of water. We're gonna add a little bit more heavy cream. And hopefully this gravy will turn out creamy and good and not separated and gross. A lot more like some gravy for biscuits. Still kind of greasy. So crispy bacon. Probably gonna taste like bacon. It's like bacon. Mm. Now for billionaire's bacon. That's a pretty damn good bacon. Also known as eggs and cheese. I mean, it's eggs and cheese. If you've never had eggs and cheese before, make this recipe. If you've had eggs and cheese before, it tastes exactly like the way you've made eggs and cheese before. Try a little bit of biscuit and a little bit of gravy. Get some sausage on there. Um, it's not bad. Um, 
the recipe says it shouldn't need salt because the sausage has salt. But it's kind of bland. Like, the gravy is bland. And I know I added more flour to it than I should have. But, in fairness, it was either have greasy gravy or have apparently bland gravy. Can't put my finger on it. I'll just want pepper. It needs salt, right? Mm-hmm. All right, the recipe said don't add salt. The sausage should be salty enough. The eggs and cheese are pretty great. Well, it's because it's eggs and cheese. And the bacon's pretty awesome. Okay, so my issue with the gravy is after sitting for 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. There's all this grease on it. Even after adding extra flour to absorb the grease, it's just kind of it's separated and it's just it's not very good looking. It's only okay tasty. So if you think that I could have done a better job with a different sausage, leave me a comment. And if you want me to remake the video with a different kind of sausage, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, click like. And if you want to see more like it, click subscribe. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, seriously, stop showing the gravy, it's gross. Even the dog thinks so. Can I help you? Do you want some gravy? You want some sausage? Like a drive-in movie. Rory, what did you think of the biscuits and gravy? <laughs>